Dave again from Supertech Electronics. We're going to show you how to remove a Holden Commodore VE sound system. Uh, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic spudger, and a small, tiny, flat screwdriver. Now, first thing we're going to need to do is to move the gear shift back, get it out of the way. And this section here is going to be the first part we remove. Now, the only way to remove that is to get your hands under it, behind it, and give it a really good hard pull. It is held on by four clips. Occasionally one of those clips may break, but it is the only way to start. So give it a good hard pull till you get here a click, and these four clips will release, and you'll have the front fascia off. Now, next thing we need to do is remove these strips along here. We start with the driver side, and this is where the plastic spudger will come in handy. Some of these clips are held in quite tight. You'll need to get a plastic spudger in there and release them. And once that's out, you can just put it aside and release, remove this part here. And that can go up there for the time being as well. Okay, next part of the journey is to remove the glove box. Well, we need to lower it, not, not actually remove it. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is get your screwdriver in there and pull that off till it clips, unclips. Alrighty, then we'll remove these little guys here to expose the screw. That one there as well. So we're going to remove all the screws that hold the glove box up to the dashboard. There's five screws, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll need to remove all five of those so that we can drop the glove box down to gain access to the aerial point that sits on the side of the stereo. Alrighty, so now that we've removed all five screws, the whole glove box will drop down. Like so. And that will give us access to the aerial wire, and you'll need to unplug that clip from the side of the stereo, and that's done simply by pressing that little plastic lever and then pulling the cable out and leaving it to the side. Alright, there is a power connector on the side of the stereo we need to remove before we remove the unit from the dash. And we're going to start by removing a little plastic clip that sits on the side down here. It looks like that. Uh, you remove the centre part of it and then the whole thing will come out. From there we can remove this whole section. Like that. <laughs> Okay, so once we've removed the plastic clip, this whole section will come out and that will expose the power lead to the stereo, which we need to unclip. Okay, remove that power cable and now we can unscrew the stereo with the four Phillips head screws. So, four screws that hold the stereo in. We've unplugged the aerial, we've unplugged the power harness. Now this whole stereo will come out. So, and that unit with its fascia is ready to send off to Supertech Electronics for repair.